Hello everyone, you know some footballers enjoy a rainy day, not sure fans always feel that way, but an exciting match in prospect nonetheless. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former Arsenal and England fullback Lee Dixon. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking of course about La Liga. It's Cadiz and they take on Real Oviedo. Yeah, thanks Derek. My advice to the players out there is try and get off to a quick start, be accountable for your own performance, but above all, go out and enjoy yourself. Should be a great game. So the initial 11 for the home side. Now this is a formation most people in the game are very familiar with nowadays. Yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. What it does give you is two holding players in front of the back four to protect them, but it also gives you three supporting players to that central striker. Let's have a look at the initial 11 for the visitors. A 4-4-2, but with a diamond lead. Yeah, there's four players in midfield, but really only three. The two wide players will stay wide and help the full-backs. There's one just sitting in front of the back four, but the number 10, who's slightly advanced, he will provide the support for the strikers. Gracias por estar aquí. And so the match is underway. Philip Malbasic. Mohamed Kamara. And space for him to cut in. Gives it a go. And that's a straightforward stop. One of many positive things you can say about the visitors is that they have the most potent attack in the league, Lee, and that is official. Well, Derek, fans want to see goals. We all want to see goals, and this lot rarely let us down. They're prolific. Ian Wright would have scored an absolute hatful in this team. Alex Fernandez. Can they get in behind them? On the ball, Pedzela. Well, they keep passing away. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. And news of a goal in the Alaves game. Alan McAnally, and he's broken free. And good use of advantage. The ref, Milik! And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. And he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. One nil then. Gol del Oviedo. Con el nueve. Sincere apologies to Alan McAnally because we had to cut him off just when he was in his flow. To confirm, Real Betis have scored in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. Credit to them for winning back possession. Now, let's see what they can do here. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Andres Martín. Won it back. Vital interception. Centeyes. Sanchez. It did look on for them, but not to be. Alex Fernandez.
playing with purpose and control. Can he do it? Milik! And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, in this replay, you're going to see a 2v1 against the keeper. How does that happen? He'll be asking his defence why he was left exposed. Nothing he could do. It's going their way. 2-0. Marca el Real Oviedo con el 9 Milik. The visitors are struggling with possession, really, but they won't mind with that. They're winning this game. They're sucking their opponents onto them, and with the pace they've got in midfield and up front, they're really causing problems. Possession one. And he might profit here. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here we see it again, Derek. He's just unaware there's people around him, and he loses it too easily. Then it's catch-up, and they can't recover. Terrible goal to concede. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Not the pass he had in mind. Showing good defensive judgment. Quick thinking to dispossess his opponent. Oh, surely. And there is the goal to make it a hat trick. Excellence in finishing, there for all to see. Well, Derek, he can relax now. He's got the hat-trick fully deserved. Well done indeed. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Diego Rodriguez. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely quick counter-attack that sets up the chance. And then the sheer power of the strike, really impressive. It's a thunderbolt. So the referee brings the first half to an end, and it's the visiting fans. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far, and now the second half is underway. Difficult to stop him. And the cross into the middle. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class! Fantastic technique! Well, here it is again, and I wonder how he waltzes past the defender so easily. And it's all about the time he allows himself by being patient waiting for the ball to drop and then volleying with such precision. So they restart the game and only one team in it. An attack full of promise. Possession changes hands, the interception there. In with a chance. And a goal! Just can't keep him quiet. 
Well, here it is again. He does so well to slip past his man, left him stranded, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. Diego Rodriguez. Nano with it. It is to be a throw in. Something you don't see every day of the week. A triple substitution here. Diego Rodriguez. Couldn't hang on to the ball. Went in strongly, decisively. Well, Chelsea have been busy in the transfer market and the contract situation has been ironed out. We could see him in action pretty soonly. Well, Derek, a figure of around £35 million is being banded around. I'd say you're getting a lot of player for that sort of money. He should be a real asset to the club. Martin. Oh, a nice-looking pass. They've regained possession. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw-in here. And in with a real chance. On his own, with only the keeper to beat, and still he's missed it. Well, he had one thought, power. He should have thought composure. Camara. And in possession, Fernandez. Ivan Alejo. More action from La Liga coming up for you live here on EA TV. It's Cadiz versus Valencia. Yeah, up. it's there for him. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him, gives him no chance to think. A lovely finish. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Untidy on the ball. Now, let's see what they can do here. It should be! And given away. He takes aim. Still alive. On a time for composure on the ball. Don't forget, there's live cup action from the round of 16 coming your way soon on EA TV. It's Real Oviedo against Atletico. Yeah, for me, now starting to get to... Will he find the net? And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Extremely sloppy in possession. It looked as though he almost forced the shot that time. Well, it's OK shooting from there, but you have to test the keeper. Montiel, now potential danger. Is it going to be? That's well blocked. Alex Fernandez. No nonsense clearance. The referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Lee. Well, being potent up front gives you a great chance in any game. And there was certainly that today. Sharp, clinical and exciting to watch for sure.